So this is Avatar The Last Airbender for the Wii. So because it's the Wii, you know, they have their... You can't uh, start any other way except for clicking on start. Um, what we're going to do here, I'm just going to show you the game with a, a new file. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Yeah. So, I've already reviewed the Game Boy Advance version of this game and the DS version of this game. Um, if you haven't seen those reviews yet, I can tell you the story is about... is It's an original story that takes place between, you know, at the end of book one and before book two. So, you start out at the uh, the North Pole. I can't skip this cutscene, but it's good so you can see what the animation looks like. So, the graphics in this game are kind of odd. It's very cartoony, but it's also very rough. Like, you can see edges where there shouldn't be edges, like in Aang's eyeballs. So, it's very unrefined and also Appa he's a he's about a size too small like uh you're supposed to be, like Aang should not be as big as Appa's head you know what I'm saying so yeah that's a little odd Appa's just a little small in this game so what you have are your basic uh you push the a button to attack you can break pots and stuff, of course. What good game doesn't let you break pots to find money? <laughs> you can block with the Z, as it shows there. It shows you experience points, and you do level up in this game. That's neat. So, this is like a full-on like RPG kind of game. You know, you pick up loot. There's items you can equip to change your stats. You've got six item slots. You've got uh, headgear, armor, footgear, and then over here, you've got like uh, three accessories of like a necklace, a pendant, and a ring of some kind. There are different attributes for your stats. So when you're picking your stats, it's not just whatever is the best. Um, but uh, each, so in this game, you get four characters. There's Aang, Katara, Sokka, and Haru. And say, so equipment that increases your life stat also increases Katara's uh, advanced move strength. And like uh, focus for Haru, agility for Aang, and strength for Sokka. So moves that increase Aang's agility also increase his bending attacks. And then special like quest items and recovery items included in there. You also have, well, let's just go ahead and continue forward a little bit. Now this is the very beginning of the game, so combat's going to seem very uh, simple. Now, there are these uh, areas around here that require uh, special uh, focus moves. And this is different in the Wii version than other versions of the game. So say like the PS2 version, when you do the focus move, I'll show some footage of it. It's like, um, it's just like a, a button pressing timing mini game, where in the Wii version in this game, it goes into this um, calligraphy drawing, uh, mini game and it starts out very simple you just kind of draw it and it grades you and if you have good enough you pass and it gives you a rating and what they usually do is they make like a treasure chest appear sometimes it'll be required for advancing in a, a dungeon so like you actually like make a path say you're Haru you make a, a, a bridge of earth uh, if you're a guitar, you make a bridge of ice or something like that. 
So there's people around here you can talk to. And um, so you can ask them questions. You can uh, you can end the conversation right away, or you can keep asking. Um, we'll be coming up to a village here soon. These are save points. You can click on here to save. I'm not going to save. You got three save slots. There's another fisherman guy you can talk to. I'm just going to jump ahead straight to the, uh, the village here. There is some voice acting, of course, in the cutscenes, and then, you know, little blurbs of conversation during uh, talking to people like this. Now, what's interesting about this game is that there will be, like, um, the people around you will just talk on their own, and you'll hear it. So I think that's pretty cool. So, the story starts out where there's this, there's this guy that's gone um, missing, and you're going to go look for him. So your journal here, it shows you, um, right up here, it shows you your, your quests. If you have multiple quests, you can look at them. Um, up here is your bending moves. So, um, I'll get into this in a little bit later. And then here's a map. So these question marks are unexplored areas. So though you go and find those places, it'll add to your percentage complete. And there is a separate percentage complete for each chapter in the game. So uh, there are hidden chests, like uh, the one that I used the, uh, the focus bending to, to unearth or whatever with my air bending somehow. Uh, those are the hidden chests and there's four of them in this map. Goodbye. Be safe. So if we walk around a bit, you can sort of hear uh, people talking. Of course, you can walk up to them and, and talk to them if you want. Most of the time, the people, they um, they give you advice on, on what your main quest is. So there's not a whole lot of uh, random chit chat, but rather it's uh, either lore for the area or helping you with your main quest. Yeah, so people will just talk on their own as you walk by. So that's pretty cool. You can hear stuff without having to stop and talk to everybody. So this guy, he's going to give us a little quest. And this introduces us to Momo. So Momo, you can press 2 on the Wii Remote. And you enter Momo mode, which just looks like this. People talk. Momo doesn't understand what they're saying. So it sounds funny like that. Um, the what you do in Momo mode is in each chapter there's like a different kind of quest for Momo specifically. And what he does is he looks around for like these uh, shiny spots. It'll be something different that you're looking for each chapter, but Momo is essentially looking for something. You'll get a question mark over your head. Your Wii Remote will begin to rumble a little bit so you can sort of figure out where it is. And then when you find the spot, you inspect it and you get whatever the thing is. And there's like eight of them in each chapter. It's a different thing. Like in this chapter, I'm looking for ice crystals. In the other chapters, I'll be looking for something else. Uh, you can press 2 to return back instantly. So you can also use Momo to like scout out areas ahead of time. Because you do get experience points for just like locating places. And uh, if you want to go down a path, you don't know if you want to go down it. You can send Momo up there. And then you can instantly recall him back, so you don't have to walk all the way back. Alright, I just leveled up, and I just has, I got an air blast attack. So, the way special moves are done is, if I hold the B button down, it shows that little icon in the lower right corner there. And the four directions are for motion gestures. 
So if I hold B and, pre and swing the remote down, it'll do that attack. And then if I get more attacks, I can assign them to up, left, and right. Sure, the specials don't always read correctly, but uh, it's most of the time right. Um, I will go over specials in uh, more detail in a little bit. So using specials, of course, uses your chi, which is the purple meter above my or next to my face up there in the upper left corner. And then, of course, the green bar is my health. So I think this game does have a few nice set pieces, you know, visually speaking. I mean, obviously, it's just a set piece. You're not going to be able to walk over there and look at that uh, up close, but it has a few nice backgrounds. Alright, so we get the uh, water bending pouch and we find another machine part and then there's this weird hole. Yeah, so this is an original story, so I don't want to spoil it too much. But uh, I actually talk about the story more in my other reviews. I just want to talk about what's different in this game. So let's go ahead and jump to a, uh, another file. so I can demonstrate um, more of the advanced parts of the game. Okay, so this is the last um, area here. You won't see any... You won't see any uh, story spoilers here. Uh, just the it's, this is the location. This is a village. All right, so. All right, so. Uh, to demonstrate uh, these moves here, um, there is a setting that you can just um, have the game automatically assign moves for you. But if you want to customize your character, you can. So I'm pretty sure I'm maxed out at level 20. And um, basically, I can assign my moves to uh, where I want to. See, I have points here. I can assign to learn moves. These are different um, special attacks. These are some defensive options, which I personally did not feel the need to ever use. Because <laughs> uh, you can just use your attacks and block, and that's pretty much all you need. Because uh, this game is pretty easy. And then here's some uh, distraction moves. Air scooter. I haven't even tried this yet. And this is your basic attack combo. So, uh, I now don't have enough points to use the finishing move on my basic attack, but I still have the three attack hit. So let's let's try this out. So air scooter is um, oh I have to assign it. So assign it by pressing one, and then gesture right, and let's try it out. Okay, so it's just an automatic use move. I'm not controlling it at all right now. It's just made to distract enemies. Let's see how it works. Uh, 
not sure. I guess it confuses the enemies so that they're stunned. Maybe. I don't know. I can't even tell. Yeah, so basically, to make this game really easy, you just do, um, let's go ahead and assign this. So this is the setup that I did have. I didn't even use that. Give me that back. Yeah, so basically, um, your most advanced offensive move is like super OP. Very overpowered. So, I will show that here. So, basically, if you... Oh, here's another thing you can do. Uh, starting in Chapter 2, they tell you you can sneak past enemies, so you don't have to fight them. So, if you run to a group of enemies and you're just trying to get somewhere, you don't even have to fight them. You can sneak. Press 1 here. This isn't my bed. It's happening again. You really got to stop Fire Nation Chatter is pretty funny, usually. I don't think I've heard that one before. So yeah, I can sneak right past enemies. But if you... Um, so Aang's best move is like this. His Air Tornado. And it destroys enemies. So if I sneak up into a group and use it, they'll be wiped out. There you have it. Wiped out. And if you customize your character, you know, you can get this um, pretty fast. Let's see. So, 10 points. So, you get to level 10. I guess that's like halfway through the game at, at best. Uh, you could max out your offensive spell, but then you wouldn't have your basic attack leveled up, which you don't really need, I guess. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, you can press on the control pad to swap characters. So they have their own sets of moves that you can use. And you can play as any of the characters that you want. And they've all got different move sets. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to show. All right, so um, in the game, you also get uh, different kinds of equipment. There's tons of different equipment. Um, but the thing is, there are these... Uh, there are these set items, which uh, there aren't any in the last area. So um, there are these set items that you get. They're basically for specific characters. Uh, so four wins items are all for Aang and they are specifically like only equipable by those characters I think pretty sure and they boost the stats of the given character quite a lot so um, you can only you can only get these set um, items through uh, doing you know and they, you only find them in specific places or from specific quests, so trying to get them all is actually kind of a, a thing to do. So like Sokka items are soul iron, uh, Haru items are core, and guitar items are life bringer. There are six of them for the whole set, three for each of the armor and uh, trinket types. And then there are these treasure maps you can buy in shops, which show you on the map uh, where the hidden chests are. And you can see that they're open here, they're open here. These ones have been opened. Hidden chest eight out of eight. So when you buy the treasure when you buy the treasure map, it shows you where the chests are. You still have to find them, of course, in the in the actual environment, 
but it gives you this uh, big uh, hint as to where to find them. Anything else? Uh, yeah, so I like rarely had to use health medicine. Uh, there was a sequence with Haru on his own where I had to use them because I didn't want to die. But I guess I just want to stress that the game is pretty easy. There are shops that use um, things like leather strip and metal sheet to make to craft items rather than just buying items. And I felt that was underutilized because there wasn't any like really good equipment to get from that. Some of the uh, game options, you can turn off the, uh, the text tutorials. You can turn off subtitles on the, the cutscenes. You can turn on and off damage indicators and auto assign moves. That's your special moves, as I was talking about. Um, if you just start changing them, it'll turn off the auto assign. But it's on by default, I think, for sure, because you want to have moves to do. You don't want to just not know what you're doing. You can, of course, change the sound options. You can, you can return to the, uh, the title screen. Extras. Uh, you can use codes to just unlock all the extras if you want. Um, you earn them by finding all the, uh, the the stuff in each chapter. And it's just like some storyboard, character art, level art. The level art's probably like the best stuff in here. As a storyboard gallery, it's just, you know, these are like storyboards for some of the cutscenes and then the character gallery this is probably like really lame because it's just eh, you know but yeah that's the game I think it's pretty neat that it's like an, an action RPG and um, aside from being on the easy side I think it's pretty good uh, there's lots of different quests to do there's plenty of areas to explore uh, if you have any questions about the game, you can ask below in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I'm getting really good at ironing uniforms. You should take it up professionally. Yeah, I'm not planning on being a soldier forever. I have aspirations. Is it true that waterbenders can turn themselves into giant rain clouds and rain fear onto us from a mile in the sky? Where do you get this stuff from? I'm asking for a transfer. So, when did you find out you were fired? I blew up the candles on my fifth birthday cake and burned the whole table and everyone's party hats. Wow, big lungs. Yeah, my parents weren't as impressed as I thought they'd be. Whoa, my life just flashed before my eyes. Anything interesting? Not really. I think I left a lantern on this morning, though. You really should get out more.